Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about the prime numbers. Here we will see how to write a Python program to print prime numbers in specific interval. So before going to the program we will see the definition of prime numbers. So prime numbers are nothing but it's a natural number greater than 1 that has no positive divisor other than 1 and itself. That's nothing but prime number is a natural number but 1 is not a prime number. So prime numbers are the natural number greater than the 1 and that number should not have any divisor other than 1 and itself. For example, 5 is a prime number because here 5 is a natural number right and it is greater than 1 and it doesn't contain any positive divisor other than 1 and 5. That's nothing but if I try to divide 5 by 2, okay, so there is nothing but this 2, 5, 2, 2 is a 4, I'll get 1 as reminder, okay. So 5 is not divisible by 2, okay, here we'll get reminder, 5 is not completely divisible by 2, okay. So if I try to divide 5 with 3, okay, then also I'll get the reminder if we divide 5 by 1 or 5 then only we will get reminder as 0 so number 5 doesn't contain any other divisor except 1 and itself so this is the prime number okay 6 is not a prime number because 6 has other device other than the 1 and itself that is here here we can see 6 can be dividable by 2 Okay, so if we try this 2, 6, 2, 3 is a 6, so we'll get reminder as 0. So 2 is the divisor of 6, even 3 is the divisor of 6. Okay, other than the 1 and 6, this number 6 contains other divisors, so this is not a prime number. I hope you are clear with the prime number concept. Here, as I said, 1 is not a prime number because earlier, Greeks did not even consider 1 as the number. So they could not consider it to be prime number. Okay. By the middle age, many mathematicians included 1 as the first prime number. But in 20th century, mathematician came to a conclusion that is 1 is not a prime number, but it has its own category called unit. Okay. So 1 is not a prime number. So now we'll see how to write the Python program to print prime numbers in the specific interval. So in the Python file, first what I'll do is I'll take two variables and I'll ask the user to enter the input. That is, I'll ask them to enter the lower interval as well as upper interval. So here we use two variables, lower and upper. In the lower, we'll ask the user to enter the lower interval. In Python, this input function will take input as the string value. By default, it will treat that as the string value. But here we want the integer value. So here I use int function to convert the string input to integer input. Okay. Here in the next line, I took another variable. Here I'll ask the user to enter the upper interval. Here also by default, this input function will treat this input as the string value. But I don't want that. Here we want integer value. So here I used int function to convert this string value to integer. So here we ask the user to enter the lower and upper interval. Suppose if you want to print all the prime numbers between 5 and 15, then you need to mention the lower interval as 5 and upper interval as 15. Uh, for example, so here we can see if you want to print the prime number between 5 and 15, then you need to mention the lower interval as 5 and upper interval as. After getting the input from the user, we need to check whether this number is prime or not. First, we'll check whether 5 is prime or not. If it is prime, then we'll print this number. Then we'll check for the next number. We'll check whether this is prime or not. If it is prime, we'll print that number. If not, we'll go for the next number and we'll check whether this is the prime or not. 
here we can say in each time we'll check whether these numbers are prime or not okay so here we can see the many iteration that is first we'll check whether 5 is prime or not next we'll check 6 is prime or not next we'll check 7 is prime or not so we'll execute the same code that is checking whether the number is prime or not for different numbers so this is called as iteration and for this we'll use for loop in our program okay so here in the next line we need to write the for loop so for here I need to take one variable and I'll take my variable name as num. If you want you can change the variable name in and range function. Here I use range function because I need to tell how many times this for loop need to be execute. Okay. So here I need to mention that. So in the range function I need to mention the start and end. Here we can see we want to print prime number from lower interval to upper interval. So I need to mention the range as lower to upper plus 1 because in the range function the end value will be excluded right. So if I want the range from 5 to 15 then I need to mention 5 and 16 ok. So here I need to mention range as lower and upper plus 1. So here lower comma upper plus 1 so if I enter the lower limit as 5 upper limit as 15 now so range will become 5 to 16 so it will give output as 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 okay so next now here suppose if you enter the lower interval as 5 and upper interval as 15 then the range will become here 5 to 16 so range function will give this output that is 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 okay and here the variable num which we used point to the first number that is 5 next before checking this number is prime or not we need to check whether this number is greater than 1 or not because as we know 1 is not a prime number so no need to check for 1 we already know 1 is not a prime number. So first we need to check whether the number is greater than 1 or not. Here in this case we need to check whether the num value is greater than 1 or not. If it is greater than 1 then only I will proceed with the next procedure that is find out whether that number is prime or not. Okay. If it is 1 then we already know it is not a prime number. So no need to check whether that is prime or not. Right. So here. For that I will take if condition so inside the for loop I will check whether the num value is greater than 1 or not ok. Here as I said num will point to the this range if you enter the interval as 5 and 15 then initially num value will be 5. So first here we are checking whether that number is greater than 1 or not. Suppose if you enter the range as 1 to 10 so initially num value will be 1 right so at that time this condition will be useful. So we are taking this condition because we know 1 is not a prime number. So inside this okay if the number is greater than 1 then we need to check whether that number is prime or not. So how to check whether the number is prime or not. So to check whether the number is prime or not we need to divide that number with the positive integer which is less than or equal to that number. For example here if I want to find out whether 5 is prime number or not first I need to divide this number with the positive integer less than or equal to this number. Okay. So what are the positive integer less than or equal to this number that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 right. Here I won't divide this number with 1 and 5. As in the definition in the prime number, this prime number can be divisible by 1 and itself that is here 1 and 5. So no need to check for this. Okay. So next to find out whether this number is prime or not we need to divide this with 2, 3 and 4. And we need to check for the remainder. If the remainder is 0 then that means this number has 
other positive divisor that means this number is not a prime number if the remainder is not zero it is not divisible by the this positive integer that means this is the prime number so here if you ask why i am not dividing this number with the positive divisor greater than this number that is 6 7 8 why i am not dividing 5 divide 6 why i am not doing this means as we know the positive divisor which are greater than the number won't divide that number perfectly right for example 6 can't fully divide 5 same with the 7 8 9 so to check whether a number is prime or not we need to divide that number with the positive divisor which is less than or equal to that number so at that time no need to check for one and that number because we know prime number is divisible by one and itself so we need to check for the remaining numbers so here to find out the remainder we will use modulus operation that is here we will do this operation 5 modulus 2 and at that time if we get remainder as equal to 0 that means it contains a positive divisor if not we will check for the next number that is 5 modulus 3 okay we will check whether the remainder is 0 if remainder is 0 that means it has positive divisor so it is not a prime number if the remainder is not 0 then we will check for the next number that is 5 modulus 4 okay so this process will continue so here in this case we can see first we need to divide this number with 2 we need to find out the remainder next we need to divide this number with 3 we need to find out the remainder next we need to divide this number with 4 we need to find out the remainder so here we can see the many iteration that is we are doing the same thing that is dividing and checking whether remainder is equal to 0 with the different value right so for this also we are using for loop so here i need to take for loop and i'll take my variable name as i in range okay so now i need to mention how many time you want to execute this for loop so i need to mention the range okay so here i'll start range from 2 to because as i said so we'll check for the positive divisor right we'll divide the number from 2 okay so here we can see <coughs> first we'll divide the number with 2 next 3 next 4 right next if uh, we are checking whether 6 is the prime number or not we'll start from 2 only we need to divide the number from 2 onwards right so first i'll write the start as 2 and here end as num okay here if uh, num value is 5 that is we are checking whether 5 is prime or not we need to check for 2 3 4 not 5 right till 4 i need to check that's why in the range i mentioned 2 to num because num value is 5 and here this value is excluded so 2 to 5 means it will give output as 2 3 4 so it will divide that number with 2 3 4 okay that's why i need to mention this range so next here as i said i need to find out the remainder so i'll divide num i'll use modulus operator here so it will give reminder here num is nothing but the this value suppose if you are printing the prime number from 5 to 15 initially num value is 5 okay so i need to divide this 5 with 2 3 4 right so here num modulus i i is nothing but this range so if num value is 5 i value will be 2 3 4 initially i value will be 2 okay if this result is 0 okay so i need to break if the remainder is 0 that means it has other positive divisor so it is not a prime number so i want to come out of this loop so here i use break this is called as loop control statement after executing this control will come out of this for loop okay so next here i'll use else condition as i said if reminder becomes zero it will execute this break statement it will come out of this loop and suppose if the reminder is not equal to zero okay 
that means it is a prime number so i need to print that number here here for example if we are checking whether phi is a prime or not so here range will become 2 to 5 so i value initially will be 2 so here it will check 5 modulus 2 is equal to equal to 0 no right so again control go to the for loop now i value become 3 so it will check 5 modulus 3 is equal to equal to 0 no right so again control goes to the for loop and now i value is 4 so here it will check 5 modulus 4 is 0 no it is not so control come out of that loop and it will execute this else part and it will print that number okay here this else part will be executed only when the if condition will become false that is in all the iteration if this if condition will become false then only this else part will be executed that is if we are checking whether phi is a prime number or not so here phi modulus 2 and the reminder is not equal to 0 there so control again go to this for loop and now i value become 3 so it is 5 modulus 3 here so here reminder is not equal to 0 so again control go to the for loop and here i value is 4 so here 5 modulus 4 again reminder is not equal to 0 so again control goes to here in the for loop so here all the iterations are completed here so control come out of this loop okay then control comes here and it will execute else part because if condition was false there in this if condition was not true so it will execute else part here and it will print that number that is 5 okay okay so if you are checking whether 6 is a prime number or not so here 6 modulus 2 so the reminder is 0 there so it will satisfy this if condition so it will execute this break statement so here control come out of this for loop and it will go here but it won't execute this else part because here if condition was true right that's why it won't execute else part it will skip this part and control again go to this main for loop and it will and num will point the next number here else part will be executed only when this condition become false for all iteration okay so now we are done with our code so we need to save this and run this so enter the lower interval i'll enter as 5 and the enter the upper interval i'll enter as 15 so here we can see the output 5 7 11 13 these are the prime numbers between 5 and 15 so if i enter 1 and the upper interval as 100 and here we can see the prime numbers in between 1 and 100 and here we can see the last number is 97 okay okay this is about the prime numbers and how to print prime numbers in the particular interval so that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care